It's us against the elements out here. I've welded an air so hot you can barely stand it. Dust, wind, and long hours just about covers it. Welding in the Arctic cold is mind-numbing, and the only way to deal with it is to just keep working. Welding is competitive work. You need to be tough, fast, and do quality welding. That's the way to succeed in this industry. In the next few minutes, you will see how Miller diesel-powered welder generators are the best choice for reliability, performance, outstanding customer service, and technical support, no matter what part of the globe you're welding in. Reliability is crucial to keeping your machine operating, especially for electrical components. Whether you're working on a pipeline, a construction site, in a mining operation, railroad maintenance yard, or welding in coastal or desert conditions, you know that moisture, dirt, dust, sand, and salt air can be especially hard on the machine and its electrical components. Ray Pierce, Assistant Field Service Manager, Femco Machine Company, had this to say about Miller's reliability. Over the years, we have tried different equipment and we were never satisfied with other brands. Uptime is important to our customers, which is why we choose Miller's Big Blue Engine Drives. They run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We only shut them down to put fuel in them, check the oil, and fire them right back up. Miller offers you a choice in the most reliable AC generator style welder generators. Choose from a simple non-electronic stick and TIG machine with no PC boards critical to operation. Or a more versatile multi-process machine with PC boards and more sophisticated electronics that provide greater arc control and can weld stick, TIG, solid and flux cord wire. The Pro 300 and Big Blue family of multi-process models protect the critical electronic PC boards in what Miller calls the Vault. The Vault is a heavy-duty, watertight aluminum case with premium sealed wiring connectors. Miller is the only industrial welder generator manufacturer that has the Vault. Welder generators continually left in extreme weather conditions are especially hard on PC boards. The vault protects critical electrical components better than potting material or anything else. These machines are constantly exposed to all kinds of moisture, including rain, sleet, snow, early morning dew, or just washing off the machine to keep it looking good. To prove our reliability, our machines and vault are put through extremely tough testing conditions. This test cell simulates the effect of water and moisture on the machine. Here, we're exposing the vault to weeks of corrosive salt, humidity, and penetrating particles of dust and sand in special test chambers. As you can see, the electrical components stay clean and protected in the vault. And because of its advanced sealing capability, potting material is not needed. The benefit is clean, solid electric contacts that result in more reliability. In another rigorous test, Miller's thermal cycle chamber can run the units through cycles of extreme heat and cold. Here, we're exposing the vault to minus 40 degrees. This is important because temperature extremes can cause metals, plastics, and potting material in the competitor's PC boards to expand or contract at different rates potentially opening gaps for moisture or possibly leading to loose or cracked solder joints and the chance for a breakdown on the job. Miller's PC boards in the vault are designed to carry low power and low heat through these connections. Conversely, our competitor carries high power, high heat through their potted PC boards. Their high power switching devices penetrate through the potting material, generating internal heat and are more vulnerable to expansion. Thermal imaging shows the heat generated by the PC boards. In this photograph, white and red are the hottest, green and blue are cooler, verifying that Miller's PC boards in the Pro 300 run cooler than the direct competitor's higher heat PC boards. Vibration also adds stress on boards and connections. This Miller test chamber vibrates assemblies in extreme temperatures to find and correct weak mechanical structures before they reach the field. 
Testing the vault and electrical components in harsh conditions has made them very reliable on the job in the real world, saving operators both time and money. PC boards can be very expensive to replace, costing up to several thousand dollars. Because they're so reliable, you may never need to replace Miller's PC boards. But if they must be serviced, the Miller Vault is easier to repair and offers significant cost savings over the competition. In the multi-process machines, both Miller and our closest competitor have PC boards. However, the competition's boards are more difficult and time-consuming to install, and the boards themselves can cost up to three times more than the Miller boards. With Miller's stick and TIG only models, you don't have any critical PC boards to replace, so no PC repair costs to worry about here. There are other features that make Miller built tough. To demonstrate Miller's structural strength, the machine is test dropped in our lab to make sure it can withstand the rigors of moving the machine on the job site. Miller's sudden impact test is performed per international safe transit testing standards to determine product and package integrity. Shaker table testing creates the pitching and bumping to simulate the rough treatment machines must endure on the job site and in transport to job locations. When it comes to welding performance, Miller outperforms in the toughest environments. In this test, we compared the weld output between a Miller Big Blue Air Pack and a competitive machine. The Miller machine, when placed in this controlled test lab with ambient temperatures at 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius, easily achieved the rated weld output, while the competitor could not hold their stated amperage and actually decrease the output amperage as the machine continued to run. To demonstrate Miller's superior performance, we increased the test lab temperature, cranked up the amperage, and the Miller increased its weld output and kept on running. This is important for really tough jobs like gouging. All Miller machines are weld rated at 104 degrees Fahrenheit, but actual tests are conducted up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, or 50 degrees Celsius, to assure peak performance. Welder Tommy Langley says, our other machines would cut out when we gouged too long with them. With the Miller, I gouged hard all day in 98 degree Fahrenheit and never had a shutdown when we were running 3 8 inch carbons. When welding, the Big Blue stays steady on its heat all day. Miller performance excels in bitter cold temperatures too. Testing shows starting capabilities and welding in cold conditions is no problem. Edward McNaughton from Nordcap Steel Docks puts it this way, the Pro 300 worked year round and never caused any problems. We were amazed at the cold weather starting. A machine that doesn't run means we have to work overtime. Secondly, you don't want to have a crew standing around at $200 an hour while someone tries to start the machine. Welders hear a lot of promises about reducing fuel costs. Miller delivers on this promise. Miller's more efficient AC generator design saves you money you can take to the bank. In a side-by-side -side comparison of AC generator style models with the same engines, the Miller used approximately 15% less fuel. That's a lot of money saved at the pump over the life of the machine. Miller's AC generator design versus older, less efficient, competitive DC generator designs will have even greater savings. This test showed a huge 26% savings, while other users' feedback claim even more savings than this. With multiple welding machines on the job site, that could save enough to pay for another welder's hourly wages and is one big reason why some contractors have switched to Miller. Pipe welder Gary Evans appreciates the fuel savings and says, I could run the Pro 300 for about four days and afterwards I still have a quarter tank. If I was running a DC generator, I'd need to put in about 10 gallons a day. The fuel economy on the Pro 300 is great. We buy our own diesel, so using less fuel makes a big difference. Another thing very important to the operators and others around the job site is noise. Miller diesel welder generators are recognized and appreciated for their quiet operation. From the smallest to the largest of the diesel engine drive line of welder generators, Miller provides the power to run tools and lights, start motors, power equipment, run plasma cutters, and some models that can even power another plug-in electric welder.
At the top of the line, the Big Blue Air Pack, a real workhorse welder generator, is great for those heavy duty maintenance and repair jobs. With its built-in air compressor, it can also provide auxiliary power and air for carbon arc gouging, running air tools, or just filling a low tire on the job site. Miller makes good on another promise to deliver superior arc performance. The Pipe Pro 304 with its inverter technology gives me the flexibility to control my arc quality on the pipeline. Sonny Daniels, a pipeliner with over 38 years of pipeline experience who has welded with many different brands, says the Miller Pipe Pro 304 has the best arc control you can get from any machine in the industry. And unlike other machines where you have to keep adjusting the weld output setting as the conditions change, the Miller Pipe Pro 304's output stays the same all day long. It's a very versatile machine that can run stick, TIG, and wire. The main reason I switched to Miller is their technical support. They don't leave you hanging. After sale customer support is responsive, quick, and the best in the industry. Miller has a reputation for fast and competent technical support, and I can see why. You get real people on the phone who know what they're talking about. And if you need parts fast to keep a machine running, Miller stocks over 10,000 part numbers in their facility and will ship over 96% of the parts orders received by 1 p.m. the same day they receive the order. Miller's servicing distributors are shipped all in stock parts items within 24 hours, or Miller will upgrade the order to next day's service at no charge, saving both time and money for the distributor and their customers. This is what Miller calls their signature service. In a survey conducted by an independent research firm, service centers who repair multiple brands of equipment were asked which manufacturer of engine-driven welder generators is best for reliability, ease of repair, technical capability, and parts delivery? Miller ranked best by a wide margin in every category. You can learn more about this by visiting Miller's website. When somebody asks why I'm partial to Miller, I tell them this. Promises by companies are easy to make. But when guys like us are on the job site, the truth comes out. Miller tells it like it is. Promises made, promises kept. That's right. At the end of the day, it's all about staying on the job. I'm a more successful welder because I can rely on Miller. Life's too short to put up with the wrong diesel welder generator. If you're an experienced welder, you know what I'm talking about. Do what I did. Buy a Miller. Miller, built tough for welding in a tough world.